Hey guys, it's Justin. I'm back here at Epcot today. I wanted to bring you along with me to show you why Epcot is my absolute favorite park, hands down. There's so much to do and see here. We'll check out the rides, the live entertainment. You know there's going to be some good food because this is Epcot after all. If you're up for it, join me for another fun day as we explore the park together. Well, friends, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you can do that right now by clicking the red subscribe button below and click that notification bell. That way you're notified every time I release new videos like this one. If you like this video or find it helpful, click that thumbs up icon below and share it with someone else that might like it. Finally, most importantly, if you need prayer for anything, you know I'll pray for you. Just drop your request below. All right, just as soon as they open up that park, we'll jump inside and start our fun day. Let's do it. All right, it's nine o'clock and they've dropped the rope. The park officially opens at nine o'clock today for all guests, 8.30 for Disney Resort guests. Let's see what we can knock out first. All right, good morning, World Discovery. Per usual, I'm gonna rope drop Mission Space and then head on over to Test Track since I know I have that single rider line. And just a pro tip for me to you, if you're standing there at rope drop, check the app to see if any rides have delayed openings. Today, Frozen Ever After had a delayed opening. It'd be terrible to rope drop the ride, get there, and find out it's closed. So just bear that in mind. All right, we'll do the orange track, my favorite. This is the one that's more intense. You can really feel those G-forces as you blast off into outer space. Let's do it. Welcome to the International Space Training Center. You're here today to train for the greatest adventure in the history of mankind. Attention astronaut candidates. You have selected Orange Team More Intense Training. Good luck, Mars Team. You are on the clock. All the marks on the floor to your X2 trainer. Navigator, yes. welcome aboard. Thank you. Now remember, during the mission, you will be initiating lunar orbit and descent. Okay, got it. We have main engine start. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. We are on. Mission Space Orange Track is in the books. Check it off. There was a slight delay loading us, but we are now through the ride. There was a walk on to get to the pre show in about 10 minutes to blast off. So let's head on over to Test Track next. Here we go. All right, Test Track already has a 65 minute wait. It's a pretty busy day today. Genie Plus is $24 to buy, by the way, just to give you that point of reference. Good thing we have the single rider line, though. Single riders, don't forget that you can customize vehicles too, but you just don't have all the customization options that you do in standby. All right, with a 65 minute standby wait, let's see what the single rider line looks like. I'm still walking. All right, about 10 people in front of me, not too bad. All right, here we go, hang on. Let's go up there. Thank you. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> hey, the screen's off. Aw. Let's do it again. Uh oh, there's bad weather. Whoa, watch it! See it whiz. Automated crash avoidance technology disengaged. Let's leave it engaged. That was a close call. There's my Stingray, I wonder where I left it. All right, test track's in the books, check it off. Less than a five minute wait to get to the ride for single riders. You just can't beat that. Let's see what's next. All right guys, my boarding group for Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind got called at 8.40 this morning before I was even allowed into the park, so I have to return by 9.40. It's almost 9.40 now, so let's go jump in line. Let's go save the galaxy and see what song we get. All right guys, the pre-show must be down because we just bypassed it completely are now going into the loading area. That has never happened to me before. All right, here we go. Hang on. Thank you. 
to the Guardians of the Galaxy. All right, Guardians of the Galaxy is in the books. It took about 45 minutes to get on the ride once I got in the queue. We got September, my favorite song of all. Thank you, Epcot. That's why you're my fave. All right, let's head over to the Land Pavilion next and jump in line for something over there. Let's do it. All right, soaring around the world here in the Land Pavilion only has a 35 minute wait, so no brainer. Let's jump in line. All right, guys, we are B2. B2 today. So we're into town. We are ready for takeoff. Let's do it, Joe. We are airborne. How majestic. Hey, friends. Oh, watch it. Hi, people on the bridge. My favorite scene. Oh, that grass smells so good. What a weird thing to say, but it really does smell good. I didn't smell the roses. There she is, Miss Eiffel Tower. So gorgeous at night. Ting, nice of you to join us. Can you make Epcot look like that again? All right, Soren's in the books. It only took me 15 minutes to get to the pre-show. The nice cast member called for single rider, so just a reminder to stay situationally aware when you're at Disney World. It might pay off big. All right, let's keep walking around. All right, guys, for the month of June, Disney has set up an exclusive pass holder lounge right here in the Land Pavilion, right to the left of Sunshine Seasons. They're even selling exclusive snacks for pass holders. I picked up the Figment Tart. This is a shortbread tart with lemon mousse and raspberry jam. How cute, let's check it out. All right, let's get some of the tart and the mousse. Not my favorite tart around Walt Disney World, if I'm being honest. I think it looks better than it tastes, but I think the color threw me off, too. I was expecting the purple to be great, but it was lemon mousse, but a nice gift for pass holders nonetheless. All right, I'm going to finish it up. We'll see what's next. And they're even giving away some complimentary gifts to pass holders right here at the front of the lounge. Some M&Ms and a figment sticker. How nice. All right, what a productive trip to the Land Pavilion. That was nice. I know this video is airing in July when the pass holder lounge will be closed, but this could be a sign of things to come for pass holders. Keep your ear to the ground. All right, let's keep walking around. All right, guys, this is what a $24 Genie Day looks like heading into Mexico. And while I'm heading this direction, let's go check out the Mariachi Cobre. Their next show starts in three minutes. Let's get over there. Thank you, Mariachi Cobre. That was spectacular. I always enjoy listening to them. And one of the band members, Louis's parents were actually in attendance and it was their anniversary and he got to serenade them right there during the show. How special. All right, let's keep walking around. All right, guys, since we're right here in Norway, let's knock out Frozen Ever After. An 85 minute wait though. It's almost 85 minutes of air conditioning because part of the queue's outside right now, but let's go ahead and knock it out while we're here. All right, our Nordic sea vessel awaits. We are the very back row which I prefer. I think it's easier to see from the back than the front. All aboard. Sure, Olaf. Sounds good to me. Hey. I know. Hey, Olaf, we made it. Well, hey, Marshmallow, how are you doing? I am too! Praise the Lord! <laughs> Little Splishy Splash! 
flash. Sky will be blue. And you guys will be there too. When I finally do what frozen things do in summer. All right, guys, Frozen Ever After is in the books. It's an hour wait, under the posted wait time at least. All right, let's get back outside and see what's next. All right, everyone say it with me. No trip to Epcot is complete without a school bread. Of course I picked one up since I'm here in Norway, and this is another reason why Epcot is my favorite park, snacks like this. I'm gonna devour it, hydrate up, and we'll see what's next. Well guys, there's a crane on World Showcase Lagoon, but the barges are pretty much gone. What a blessing. All right, heading into the Germany Pavilion. Not many people back here right now. All right guys, it just got kind of windy here, so I'm sorry about the wind noise in the mic if you hear it, but I hope the wind keeps the rain away. So far, so good. All right guys, it's still Flower and Garden Festival when I'm filming this, so I stopped by the America Food booth, the Magnolia Terrace, and got a couple of items. Over to the left is the spicy chicken gumbo with andouille sausage and Ben's original long grain and wild rice. And over to the right is a new item. This is the muffaletta panini with ham, salami, mortadella, provolone, and Swiss with olive salad. That sounds amazing. Let's check these out. All right, let's start with the gumbo. And you know Tabasco and black pepper got added too. Mmm, I like that. Jam-packed full of flavor. And you can really feel some heat other than the Tabasco I added, so definitely a great dish. I like it. All right, now for the panini. Mmm. Another solid dish. You can taste the nuttiness from the cheese and some great flavor coming through from the salami. A great little snack here at the America Pavilion. All right, I'm gonna finish these up. We'll see what's next. All right, guys, how fortunate it is to be in the America Pavilion right now because the next Voices of Liberty show starts in about five minutes. Let's jump in there, grab some air conditioning, and enjoy the show. America, America, the red, white, and blue, still pay. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Thank you, Voices of Liberty, absolutely sensational. It is just amazing to me. They don't use any kind of sound system to enhance their sound or any music accompaniment. It's just their voices and only their voices. Thus their name, Voices of Liberty. All right, let's keep walking around and see what's next. All right, guys, the next Matsuritsa show here in the Japan Pavilion starts in just three minutes. Let's check them out. Konnichiwa. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Japan Pavilion and this performance by Matsuritsa. I just finished listening to the Taiko drummers here in the Japan Pavilion. Excellent job, ladies. I still want to see them and the Jamiters do a duet. Not a competition, a collaboration. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that too. All right, let's see what's next. All right, guys, I'm heading to the France Pavilion to jump in line for Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, but on my way, I stopped by Spice Road Table to pick up a free cup of water. Just a reminder to stay hydrated in Disney World. It gets hot out here, especially on these warm summer days. It's extra important. All right, let's get to France. All right, guys, the sign says 100 minutes for Ruby's Ratatouille Adventure, but the app says 75. I don't know what to believe. Let's go check it out. All right, the sign up here says 100 minutes too, so the app probably just didn't update yet. Let's jump in line, see how long it takes. And here comes our Remy. We're in the front row today, guys. We get his head. And we are off on our Ratatouille Adventure. <laughs> Chef Lenny is waiting for you. Where? 
This one. Okay, let's go. Slow down, Remy. Yeah. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> There's the heat. Look at all the Remy's. Make it be some food. Whee! Oh, and that yeast smells so good. Oh! <laughs> all right, Remy's Ratatouille right Adventure, check it off. It's in the books. It was an 80 minute wait, eight zero minutes, so it was closer to the 75 in the app instead of the 100 on the sign. Interesting little experiment there. All right, let's see what's next. And here's Princess Aurora meeting right here in the France Pavilion. How noble of her. Another reason why Epcot's my favorite park, the sight lines. Now that the barges are gone, where else can you see 11 countries at once? Absolutely gorgeous. All right, guys, here's a look into the UK Pavilion right now. Crowds are not too bad. It's a nice, beautiful, sunny day, I'll tell you that. Well guys, it looks like there's some new restrooms right next to World Showplace in between the Canada and UK pavilions. Pretty cool. All right guys, I stopped by the Honey Bistro food booth and picked up a returning favorite of mine. This is the Honey Mascarpone Cheesecake with Honey Whipped Cream, Whipped Honey, Crystallized Honey, Honeycomb, Dehydrated Honey, and Fennel Pollen Meringue Kisses. That's a lot of honey going on. Let's indulge. All right, an edible flower, I forgot to mention that. It is Flower and Garden Festival after all. All right, let's get some whipped honey and some cheesecake. Mmm, so delicious. Sweet, overpowering honey flavor, as you can imagine. It goes very well with the rich, creamy cheesecake. One of my faves for a reason. All right, I'm gonna enjoy it. We'll see what's next. All right, guys, I'm taking a break from World Showcase. I'm gonna head on up to the seas with Nemo and friends. Jump in line for that. Grab some air conditioning and take a break from eating, too. Let's get up there. All right, I posted a wait time of 15 minutes for Nemo. I don't think it'll be that long. Let's get in there. We made it! We're in our shell! Nemo's swimming out the sea! Oh, don't worry. Just keep your eyes open for him along the way. Nemo! Come out, come out, bring it! You see orange with white stripes and you sound like you want to smell it? Nemo! Why didn't you draw a boy for a little boy? Totally! What everybody's looking for! All right, just finished up with the seas with Nemo and friends. A 27 minute wait. I do not recommend waiting that long. But while we're here, let's jump right next door to Turtle Talk with Crush. Let's do it. Whoa, look at all the humans in the human tank. Hello, humans. Hello. Hello. Righteous, they live. Oh, check this one out, man. You got hatchlings growing. It's an offspring. Chilling on the sub level. Hey, bud, what's your name, man? Tomalyn. Hey, what's up, bud? Where are you from? Michigan. Dang it, dude. Who brought you here today? We can find out together. Don't sweat it, man. <laughs> hey, bro, what's up, man? What's your name, dude? <laughs> Hang in there, man. Breathe. I got you. <laughs> Freak you out, your kid has no clue you're here, man. <laughs> Do any humans have any questions about being a turtle? Totally raise a fin if you have a totally turtle question. What's your question? Um, how do y'all sleep? Oh, I usually close my eyes. <laughs> What's your name over there? How do you talk? <laughs> your parents gave you the coolest name I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Dude, I don't want to freak you out, but your parents are hippies, kid. All right, Turtle Talk with Crush is in the books. Even on busy park days, it's about a 15-minute wait, just waiting for the current show to get out. All right, let's keep walking around. All right, guys, Spaceship Earth has a posted wait time of 30 minutes in the app, but then I saw a message pop up saying wait times may not be accurate, so let's go check it out in person and see what it really is. 
And a posted wait time of 15 minutes, so half the posted wait time in the app. Where are we going? And what kind of future will we discover there? Surprisingly, the answers lie in our past. Why don't you tell Since us about the it, Judy? Of recorded history, we've been inventing the future one step at a time, recording our knowledge on cave walls. There was only one small problem. When we moved, the recorded knowledge stayed behind. It's like the recorded knowledge is moving too. And unfortunately, taxes. And unfortunately, but it also brings with it the dawn of great civilization. Rome built the first World Wide Web, and it's leading us into the future. Thank you for inventing the internet, Romans. We still use it today. And the great library of Alexandria in Egypt is smells burned. like barbecue. Much of our learning is destroyed, mm. lost forever. In 1450, Gutenberg invents the movable type printing press. Now knowledge can travel as fast as these new books, and travel they do. Thanks for printing the King James Bible, Johannes. Books make it easier to invent the future in every field. Praise you, Lord God. And soon people all over the world are sharing life's most important moments faster than ever before. In 1969, One small step for a man. Well, let's see who filled George's vacancy. George is still there? How are you still alive and working? Well, good for you. Keep eating your Wheaties, I guess. Together we form a super network that glows with billions Did you get it to compile? And once again, Less piece of more coding. I'll check back. To shape the future of this, our spaceship Earth. Welcome to the future. Or should I say, your future. What happened to my face? Another reason Epcot's my favorite park. Iconic rides like Spaceship Earth. You just can't beat a classic like that. It was about a 15 minute wait on the dot, so pretty accurate wait time. All right, let's keep walking around. All right, guys, I stopped by Connections Eatery and picked up the Orange Bird Liege Waffle. They usually have a specialty Liege Waffle for each festival, and Flower and Garden had Orange Bird very fittingly. They make these here fresh daily, and this one comes with a white chocolate Orange Bird medallion. Let's check it out. I like that it's packaged to go so you can eat it later or finish it later if you don't eat it all in one sitting. Totally up to you. Hmm. Not bad. The sugar on top tastes a little artificial, if I'm being honest, but... The waffle itself is good. You can tell that it's baked fresh daily. I really appreciate that. All right, I'm gonna finish it up. We'll see what's next. All right, guys, I stopped by the quick service location, La Catina San Angel here in the Mexico Pavilion. And I got a melty churro sundae. This is the caramel and vanilla soft serve swirl. Let's check it out quickly. All right, it really is melting quickly as you can imagine. Mm. Wow, is that good. Heavy on the caramel flavor. So rich and creamy. Very curious about these churros that are on top. Let's check one of those out. Mmm. Not bad. Surprisingly fresh for being on the ice cream that long. And very cinnamony. I like that. All right, I'm going to thoroughly enjoy it. We'll keep walking around. All right, guys, that churro sundae exceeded my expectations. Wow, was that delicious. But I am making my way to the UK pavilion now, as you can see, to catch the next command performance show. It starts in about five minutes. Let's go check them out. Hello, world travelers. Please welcome to the stage, Command Performance. Party or a party, making big noise, playing in the street, gonna be a big man someday. You got mud on your face, big disgrace, kicking your can all over the place. We will, we will rock you. We will round the weed, I am ready. All right, thank you, Command Performance, for that awesome concert. And that is another reason why Epcot is my favorite park, live entertainment. I love live music in the parks. All right, let's keep walking around. All right, guys, it was time to eat again, so I stopped by the Farmer's Feast Food booth and picked up a couple of items. 
At the top there's the barbecued seared pork tenderloin with summer succotash, herb butter, and grapefruit vinaigrette. And at the bottom is the sweet corn creme brulee with corn biscotti. Those sound amazing. Let's check them out. All right, we'll check out the pork tenderloin first, naturally. And this is the booth that had that rotating menu and both dishes focus on corn, so I guess summer corn is in season. Hmm. The pork is not as tender as I'd like it, but still very good. The barbecue sauce is what makes it, in my opinion, very sweet. Great combination, I like that. Now for the creme brulee. A little bit of dessert. Mmm. Very sweet. And it does have a heavy corn flavor, which surprises me. I didn't think it would. I like that too. Great cap for the day. All right, I'm gonna finish these up. We'll see what's next. All right, guys, I've cut myself off. I hid my wallet so I won't buy any more food. I ate way too much today, but wow, is it good. Now I think we'll head on over to the American Gardens Theater and check out tonight's Garden Rocks concert. Tony Orlando's performing. Let's grab a seat. Music fans, welcome to the America Gardens Theater for tonight's Garden Rocks concert series. Now put your hands together and welcome to the stage, Tony Orlando. on the base is 19 years old. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm heading out of Epcot now, but thank you so much for joining me today. All those reasons, everything you just saw, that is why Epcot is my favorite park, and I hope you get to take time to explore the things that are important to you on your next trip. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you can do that right now by clicking the red subscribe button below, and then click that notification bell. That way you're notified every time I release new videos. If you like this video or found it helpful, click that thumbs up icon below and share it with someone else that might like it. All right, everybody, until next time, you know what I'm going to say. Stay well, stay safe, and God bless. Bye for now. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth.